Okay, so now we're to the pen stage. So the paint is layer one, the collage is layer two. Um, and I, something I did mention before, I like to just do collage in one sitting, one journaling sitting, and so, um, and I like to do paint, well uh, paint obviously has to be in one sitting. I don't like switching between uh, collage and pen work, I, it's just, again, a certain mind groove for collage and it's a different mind groove for pens. So the first step that I usually like to do is I like these pan pastels. And if you don't have them already, you want to go buy some, I would suggest just sticking to this, a deep red, a brown, and a black. And if you don't even have that much money, then just stick with black, I think. Maybe brown. No, probably black. And it comes with these little different pads, like you can use them with these. Uh, they're, they're just makeup pads. This is like an eyeshadow thing. Um, but, and I used to use these, but I really kind of ruin them really quickly. So, and they all stack up like that, but they usually just each come one with a little bottom part and then a, a lid that goes over the top that looks like this lid. So, the way I like to use them, since this has red on it already, I'm going to show you what the red looks like. I'm barely touching it to the top of the thing, and I'm, I'm creating some shadow around the edges. And this is why I like red. It's just, I think it's cool looking instead of black and brown all the time. So you just kind of mush it around and this particular tool seems to do that the easiest. This will also color, you can see that it's coloring my collage here. It will color your collage. So if you want to make something, like for instance, if I wanted to give him rosy cheeks, oh you know what, it's not working as well. Oh, here it goes. I don't know if you can tell that, but because this is a glossy magazine page it's not taking it as good but it just took it so um, you get the picture here you're just kind of giving some dimension to your page maybe I might go around here now you're probably wondering this since this is pastel can I just wipe it right off no, I can't. But if I don't like what I did, I can erase it, which I don't really have an eraser here. Oh, here's one on the end of my pencil. You can tell that you can erase it like that. So don't be worried that you're going to ruin it. And I might just leave that. I kind of like that. Whatever. Let's go with it. Okay, so there's that color. Let's switch. The, these little things out, which you can buy little packs of these. Let's go to black and get some on there and do the same thing again. Obviously red would not show up on this blue, this darker blue color. So I'm starting, if you can tell, when I have the most stuff on is when I start right at the edge. And then as it, it comes off and gets less on the thing, then I'm moving outwards. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. All right. So those are pretty cool to use as a step. Uh, some of my favorite pens to use are Sharpie poster paint markers, and this is a medium point, even though it looks really big. This is a fine point, and then this is the extra fine. So those are pretty much the three sizes I use. And the whites in these are really super white. I will show you. You shake them up because they are really paint inside. And then sometimes if they're not working for you, you have to press the tip down, which I'll do right there. 
a lot of times, once you press it down, the, the paint is flowing and you don't have to worry too much about it. But you can tell how opaque these are, so they're awesome. So I'm just throwing some down there. Definitely the white fine line is my most favorite pen in my bag. Another thing that I like to use are Copic markers. They're Copic Sketch, and we sell these on our website also. I've had my set for probably five or six years at least. It probably has been longer than that. And I've had to replace maybe one or two Copic markers. So they are expensive, but they will last you for a really, really long time. Um, they're non-toxic, and really the po one point is chiseled and one point is a brush tip, and it's the brush tip that I really use exclusively. So these, once you start using them, you're gonna want a lot of colors. So I might take this black and just play with what's going on here already. So I could use this, this one, or I could use like my poster paint pen, which I don't know if you can see that, but it's a different color of black. So this is definitely a darker black. And maybe that's because this one's called special black. I don't know. But that actually blends in more with that. So already I'm switching it up and I'm changing what was there before just by doing some weird hair right there. Um, I don't normally like to do hair, but um, oh, I think I'm going to take this pen and I'm going to get rid of those little feathers like so. Again, this just is changing, changing the original image. So